In the skies and on the ground, rehearsals are underway for King Charles III's coronation. It will be an event full of extraordinary pomp and pageantry. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to line the route from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey. Every detail of the ceremony has historical and religious meaning. Charles will be anointed with holy oil brought from Jerusalem. The processional cross includes fragments said to be from the true cross on which Jesus was crucified, given by Pope Francis. The coronation goes back over a thousand years, uh, and since 973 AD when King Edgar was crowned in Bath. The oldest, uh, the first coronation at Westminster Abbey that we know occurred was William the Conqueror in 1066, and the actual ritual has changed little over the centuries. Charles officially became king after the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, on September 8th. The coronation is also a chance for the British public to celebrate their new monarch. Community street parties are planned across Britain. The event will echo Elizabeth's coronation 70 years ago, but there will be important differences. You also had a 25-year-old queen, I mean, here, and this is a problem with uh, Prince, uh, King Charles and Queen Camilla, and that is their age. That's not the only challenge for the 74-year-old king. A recent poll showed 58% of the public supports the monarchy, but among 18 to 24-year-olds, support is just 32%. I think that he realises that the challenges ahead, so far as the monarchy is concerned, it's very important that there should be some form of acceptance of the monarchy's links to the slave trade in past years. His environmental credentials are impeccable. I mean, that appeals very, um, very considerably to a younger base. The fallout of Prince Harry and Meghan's split from the royal family amid accusations of racism denied by the palace continues to overshadow the monarchy. Charles's brother, Prince Andrew, has been effectively banished after settling a sex assault case. Some see dangers ahead for the monarchy. The, the big threat to um, the future of the House of Windsor is not uh, mobs storming the gate, it's, it's, it's not revolution, it's, it's becoming irrelevant. They understand that. You've got to, the Queen always used to say, we have to be seen to be believed. They have to play a part in national life. The royal family will hope that the coronation provides an opportunity for public celebration and for renewal of the monarchy itself. But it will also mark a new chapter with new challenges that King Charles at its head will have to navigate to keep the royal family relevant in the 21st century. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.